Welcome to this B1 Printer Delivery e-learning session on the internal reporting system. So what is internal reporting? Well, let's uh, figure that out by doing an example. You have a customer and that customer have asked you, hey, can you make me a report that shows data uh, on uh, how much each sales employee have sold? Uh, they want it uh, in a crystal report, yes, you have some sales analysis and so on, but let's just say they want something special and some extra fields and stuff. So you end up making a crystal report like this. This will by no means win any design uh, awards or anything. It's just a simple uh, report that summarizes for each uh, one of them uh, using a, very, a simple SQL in here. Nothing special, uh, and this is not the main point of this. But you have a report, and the customer says, yeah, I want to see that. You can begin to use SAP's tools in order to make a new menu item and uh, end up with running that report. Or you can use our added menu system, uh, if you want to have it more advanced, uh, where you can uh, just add, for example, a sales by sales employee here which is this one, and it will launch this crystal report that we just talked about. No special parameters, anything, but that could be that you would ask for stuff. And uh, that is well and fine. We can now run it here. That has nothing to do with print or delivery. But as always, this is a CEO. He doesn't really have time to go in here. So he asks uh, you, can I just get that uh, report in, in a mail every Monday. And then, yeah, what do you do now? So what you can do is use print and delivery. But if we look here at the wizards, it's not really a sales order. It's not really a purchase document. It's not really anything here. It is what we call an internal document or internal reporting because it doesn't rely to a specific window doesn't rely to anything specific. And for that reason, our CEO could not really go anywhere. Yeah, we made it in the main menu because it wouldn't make sense to put anywhere else. So what we're going to set up here in a, uh, in a live setup, nothing is set up uh, up front, so you can see how easy it is. But we need to do something here. And what we need to do is that we can either do it by mass delivery I will do that as a kind of test and also because we need a mass delivery configuration, but then we'll set it up in uh, our scheduler so you can see how the end-to-end -end setup will be. So I will quickly open mass delivery because I know that I can quickly right-click here and say get to the mass delivery configuration. So we want a new mass delivery configuration. So far, we have only just worked with the existing ones, but not made new ones. So we will say my internal report. And I call it that just so it's easy for us to understand. In real life, you will probably call it sales by uh, sales employee. And what type is this? Well, it's not some of these types, but luckily at the end, there's something called internal. And in internal, you don't really specify anything because, again, there is nothing to specify. It is just a report. And uh, you then see some options down here. Should it be shown as in the mass delivery window? Yeah, okay, we like that. And should it be possible to uh, select different from the report action? This is actually a very uh, important one uh, for internals because else it doesn't really make sense. Um, but we just simply add this, and now we have in the mass delivery, we should expect the my thingy, but it's not here because you have not yet set up anything else. We just made a something called my internal report, but it has no clue what the crystal is, who to send it to, what to send, what email, body, and, and, and stuff. So we need to just find that. So we go to administration, add-ons, usability package, module configuration, print delivery, and make a report action like any other. 
and this one we will call my internal report again we will probably give it a, a real name and in here it is in other and internal and you can see the uh, form type like 134 and so on is actually minus one here meaning again we can't really associate it with any specific window but we can make a new crystal report and we don't have any so we need to make it so my internal report and we choose the report we want and i put it next to all the other ones and here it is the one we used on the menu item and the one we just saw in here so we put it in there's no uh, parameters here so we don't need to specify anything special and then we of course want to email it that was our ceo's request so we will make a new email button or email action as it is as such uh, so my internal report and we want to send email so this is what the the boss sees so let's put it the right thing sales by sales employee hi boss here is the numbers you asked for here can't really use too many special uh, keywords or anything because again remember it's not associated with any specific screen and in most cases we don't need any there's a few generic keywords you can use uh, but we don't need in this case so i think i will just do a little bit of copy paste here and write that as that pdf good so we have that in place now we need to specify who it goes to and it's not really a bp header it's not really any of these it's that direct email so the bus i will end up being the bus here so we can see it but it could uh, just because i'm using draft it could uh, be bus at my company dot com we'll use uh, outlook as a no we can't actually do this uh, specific one we actually need to do it real because yes we can do it for mass delivery and actually get uh, outlook to use but later on we will want to show that it's actually uh, sent every monday we need to use a server delivery method so for that reason we actually need to write something real else i don't have access to boss at mycompany.com so i'll write myself i become the boss in this okay Andy. so there we have it and let's put in smtp let's put in biome this is my SMTP server I will use for this. Uh, nothing fancy there. Uh, and we have separate e-learning on all the things. If this is very unfamiliar to you, uh, go see the report action uh, and the uh, SMTP and so on. But we set this up and we can add this document. And once we do that and refresh the master delivery, we should be able to actually run this now in that we can see my internal report because it's now associated with anything it is there and we can choose which of the report should we run that's the my internal report and we want to email and that the only thing we set up was email so we can only do that so if i press there it says it's done and i have my sales by employee So that is there, very nice. But of course we don't want to uh, have the job of doing this every Monday morning at eight o'clock. So we need to set up the schedule. So let's go into administration, add-ons, V1 usability package, module configuration, V1 print delivery and schedules. So let's call it mail to boss.
we choose internal report. We choose the internal report as email. If anything goes wrong, I want to have an email, but else I just assume it's okay. And it should be weekly on Mondays at eight o'clock. We put that in. And if we have the server component installed, which I luckily have, it's now here. And now we could pause this video and wait for Monday at eight o'clock. Uh, today it's Friday in my uh, case. So I don't really want to wait that long. Uh, and I will just use the handy feature of test running it uh, on my own here. But of course it will just run on the indicated schedule, but we can run from here. And I will actually think it might fail uh, because a very common uh, mistake sometimes. But let's, while we wait for that, I will quickly log into my Outlook. And find this for you. It actually was okay. Uh, the reason why I said um, it might go wrong was I wasn't really sure if I had put in a server delivery method. But I guess we did. Yeah, we did. Had it not been here, it would have come back with an error message saying that to me. But if I look at my outlook here, it is here. Hey, boss. And that would just have been there on Monday uh, once he come in and uh, can do everything. Now he doesn't need to go to business one, do anything. Again, we have automated a little uh, piece of our work. And what report you sent, that is entirely up to you. Uh, the, uh, the setup is the same and very, very simple uh, to set up in general. So we, for example, internally use it for a lot of different things, uh, internal reporting on uh, metrics and, and, and things uh, inside Boyle. So um, you can set it up uh, to your heart's content uh, in any way you want. So thank you for attending. See you in the next one.